Hey guys, what's up? It's Pixelated All Follow. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you guys are doing well. And today we are playing Empire Total War. And today I'm going to be commanding one of my favorite factions in this game. And there's only one reason why this faction is one of my favorites in Empire Total War. And it's this reason right here. Ah uh, yes, the winged hussars. What a magnificent creature. This is one of my favorite cavalry units in all of Total War just because they look so damn sexy. They look fantastic. Really, they, nothing comes close to the winged hussars. They're pretty great, pretty fantastic. They're very expensive, but they're worth it. I have two units of them, and I cannot wait to see them in action. So yes, this is a two versus two. My ally is the United States of America, and we are taking on uh, Prussia and Austria. So pretty, uh, pretty cool factions going at it today. So let's go ahead and check out the army comps. We are going in slow motion. What we're going to do here is race for this hill. So let's go pretty fast. So starting with my Poland-Lithuania faction, I have three units of the light infantry. And then close behind, I have about four or five units of line infantry. Also, you gotta love the uniforms on the line infantry. That double red there, that looks really good. Red pants, red coats, it looks nice. And then here's my general, general's bodyguard. And then over here, I have more line infantry. I've got some guards. This is my elite line infantry, so two units of them. And then I have two units of guard grenadiers. These guys are really good. And of course, I have the two winged hussars. And last but certainly not least, I have two units of the 24-pounder howitzer foot artillery. So that is my army. Let's move on to the USA. He is bringing three units of Legion of the United States. It's a nice light uh, infantry force. And then he's got about four units of US Marines fantastic very deadly force right there and then moving on to the rest of his army he's got the first of maryland he has the first of delaware and he has the second new york so we got some fancy units there and then he's got some household cavalry he has lee's legion and he has the second continental uh, light dragoons and more household cavalry and back here he has his 24 pounder howitzer and of course here is his general so moving on to the opponents so austria he is bringing some line infantry he mostly has line infantry which uh, looks i mean i don't know it's just all these units look fantastic i know i say that at almost every unit like oh which looks great you know this unit looks amazing but they really do i just love this time period the uniforms were just the best military wise in this time period so yeah line infantry fantastic look really cool that white and green then he's got some carabiners and some light dragoons and he's got jaegers in the front line over here and then back here he has more line infantry so lots and line lots and lots of line infantry and then he has the general's bodyguard and he has some more carabiners on this flank over here he's bringing jaegers and he's got some hungarian grenadiers oh yeah look at those pants that gold and dark blue fantastic and then he's got another line infantry regiment down here so that's pretty much austria let's move on to prussia prussia has lots and lots of line infantry that's kind of the standard in uh, empire total war it's usually a good idea to bring lots of line infantry and then back here he has about two units of the superior your line infantry these guys of course are the elite units of prussia and then he's got some grenadiers in the back very cool looking and uh, he does have some cavalry he has the ulins or i'm not sure how to pronounce it but it's a uh, spear like shock cav pretty nice they're gonna be taking on my uh my winged hussars he also has a regiment of horse and he's pushing up more line infantry up here. And I believe he has his general and an artillery piece, which is in the center. He's got the uh, six-pounder horse artillery. So not super powerful, but certainly very fast. Let's go ahead and do normal speed and get this battle underway. All right, so this battle is going to start with my lights going forward. So I rush for the center hill. I was expecting them to rush as well, but you can see they're being a little bit... Uh, a little bit more passive. Maybe he, he has a different idea, a different strategy, or is, he's going to try to somehow counter my aggressive push. And you can see my ally did the same thing. He's charging for the hill, and he even has his legion of the United States already firing down at the, uh, the Austrians. So nice position right here. Uh, not really getting a ton of great hits because most of them are in the tree line there, those palm trees. 
So they do have some protection, but it's nice, you know, suppressing force right there, suppressing uh, shots. And you can see he's, he's lined up his line infantry. He also is sending forward his uh, carabiners, carabiners, excuse me. So, uh, yeah, nice volley there. Here comes the second line. I love this fire by rank. This is my favorite thing about Empire Total War. It's very cool. And there's some really cool moments during this battle, uh, seeing fire by rank, uh, which I'll show you in a little bit. You'll know what I'm talking about. Now the carabiners are getting pretty close to the front line. So you can see that most of the action right now is going on between Austria and the United States. Uh, over on this side, you can see Prussia is still slowly making his way. I put some stakes down just in case he does a frontal cab charge so I can protect my light infantry. But close behind, I have my line infantry. And uh, yeah, looking, it's looking pretty good. We can, you can also see that I took this small hill. I'm setting my guards to protect the very uh, right flank here. They are outnumbered, but these are my guards. They will hold this position no matter what. They're very well disciplined, well trained, and hopefully they can take on the, the, the much larger uh, numbers of Prussians. Now, I also want to show you uh, something real quick. You can see he's moving his cav really wide left here. So he's going to try to do something sneaky. I kept my eye out during the, the, the actual battle. I was I was making sure that I kept a mental note on the uh, the Prussian cab. Because sometimes you can forget and things can get a little uh, little messy, if you know what I mean. If you don't, if you don't watch that cab. Uh, if we look back over here at the United States, the U.S. Marines, they're firing down on Austria. Austria, pretty, pretty wise here to fall back like that. I don't really see a good opportunity in taking that hill. So he's going to fall back into the tree line, take shelter, and uh, maybe approach in a different way. You can see he's actually pushing a lot of forces on this flank. So the U.S., he's got a lot of his cavs stationed here. And he's now pushing up uh, most of his elite uh, units like the 2nd New York, 1st Delaware, and the 1st Maryland. So let's, let's head back over to this front line. You can see my lights. I pushed them forward in front of the stakes. They're now putting down suppressing fire on the incoming uh, Prussians. The artillery is also firing down on this posi position as well. And check this out. Okay, so this is pretty clever here. Uh, the Prussians, they've got a little bit of a U-shape here. And because it's fire by rank, this is actually pretty good. This is a pretty good maneuver. And I've never really seen anything like this. So I was I was kind of, I, I didn't really know how to approach it. I was just like, uh, I need a parrot. I don't know what's going on. Uh, but, you know, I was pretty confident in my guards. And I think they were going to be able to hold against this. I also have my uh, my grenadiers flanking around the, uh, the right flank here. So they're going to put some pressure there. You can see the Prussians are now maneuvering some line infantry to deal with my uh, grenadiers. And also, where are the cav units? Oh, I think they're they're hidden in the tree. No, no, no. Here's the cav units. You can see Prussia. He pushes cav way to the flank. You got to be careful with that. You don't want to push them so you know push them way to the flank to the point where they can't really help out in critical situations. So they're pretty far away. I'm not too worried about the about that. But you can see here he's pushing up some grenadiers. I'm gonna let my guys continue to fire at will. But I knew what he was doing here. He was going to push up his grenadiers so he can use the grenades. So there they go. They're throwing them in. This is where I decide to just charge forward and go past those grenades. And I just saved a lot of lives there. Look at that. Not a single lost soul. Now I'm going to charge them into melee. And I do get some of the grenadiers. They're going to slow them down and slow and fully take them on during this chaotic chaotic line battle. And you can see my, uh, my guards back here. They're still uh, holding their ground and firing at the enemy forces. My grenadiers are still firing at the flank there. And look at this. We are breaking the Prussian, at least some of the units. And I'm also focusing a lot of my artillery fire down at this position. Oh, look at that. That was beautiful. So my howitzers are doing a lot of damage here. My line infantry setting up, uh, giving, or uh, showing up with more reinforcements, the line infantry. Just trying to support my guards in this pretty bloody duel here. This bloody uh, line battle. And you can see there's a lot of stuff going on on this main front here as well. I love that. All right, fourth line. Or not, you know, you just stand back there. So I love it. All right, reloading there. Uh, you can see I'm, I'm losing a lot of men over on this side. I'm taking on a lot of units. My army, it seems like he's ha he has a much larger army, so I'm outnumbered in most, uh, most uh, locations on the battlefield. 
You can see that the United States, they're trying to hold this flank. We got a bit of a crazy cav battle going on here. It's a crazy cav battle. Uh, he's got his household cavalry taking on the light dragoons. Looks like the U.S. are starting to lose, but also the Austrian cav are beginning to break as well. His infantry, it's, they're holding uh, this side over here. He's got his first Delaware, and he's now moving up his first Maryland to support him on the main front. And this battle is so close so far. And you can see the U.S. Marines forming square formation because they're getting attacked by the Caribbean Carabiners here. So they should be able to hold against that Cav Force. And uh, we'll head back to my battle over here. Where I'm still taking on most of the Prussian force head on. And unfortunately my guards... Oh, my winged hussars! They're going in! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> I forgot about that. Don't worry. We'll see more charges from the winged hussars. Yeah, they're going in. They're going after the superior line infantry. There they go. With, I love that cheetah print in the back there. <laughs> I see. I say cheetah print as if it's like printed on, but no, I'm sure that's real cheetah uh, fur right there. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, they're falling back, and I'm also falling back my my grenadiers. You see what Prussia did here is he he charged in his cab to take on my grenadiers. Unfortunately, he broke one of my grenadier units, but I'm going to try to get him out of here, you know, to safety. This is where I decided to just turn around and face the calf. Come on. Face my grenadiers. Don't you run away, you Prussian calf. But yeah, he's actually going to run away. I'm going to form a line here, try to fire before he can turn back around. Form up. Quick, quick, quick. Fire. Fire, grenadiers. Here they go. Yes, we take out a couple cab units there. My hussars, they make it back to safety. I'm going to put them back in the trees, hide them from the uh, the enemy. You never know. Sometimes if you run back in the vegetation and you hide your units, your enemy will forget. And you might be able to get a nice surprise charge later on in the battle. Uh, but you can see, again, this main battle still going on here. I love that fire by rank. That is fantastic. It never gets old watching that. I, I guess only the first three fire, first three ranks. I don't know, the back ranks here are not really firing. I guess it makes sense because it's so far away. Might be out of range. If we head back, head back over here between the struggle between the United States and Austria, the second New York still holding against the line infantry, the Hungarian, uh, the, yeah, the Hungarian Grenadiers. And uh, here comes the first Delaware pushing in. Oh, good volley there from Austria. Come on, reload boys. For America, for freedom, justice, and liberty. And here comes uh, more U.S. Marines pushing forward as well. So he's really trying to take on the Austrians here. This is a pretty, pretty nasty fight going on. And the main fight over here, you got the Legion of the United States holding back Austria. Let's head back over to this main fight where Prussia, he's winning on this flank. He did a great job maneuvering his units and he's now charging in, getting ready to take on what's left of my line infantry. I maneuvered, I maneuvered a regiment of my line infantry to try to surround his grenadiers over here. You can see he's throwing in his grenades. Unfortunately, oh, actually, I do run out of there. Fantastic. I get, oh, I think I lost one soldier there. Maybe not, but uh, I get him out. But unfortunately, we're getting shot at the flank there. You can see Prussia now pushing in their line infantry on this side. So I'm trying to quickly regroup my forces to prepare to take on that line infantry. Oh, here comes my wings, winged hussars moving in, charging in. You got my friendly artillery coming in as well. Oh, a couple good shots there. Oh, take him out, boys. Come on. You know, even if you die here, you will look great dying. <laughs> that guy just face plant into the dirt. Rest in peace, my friend. And then with the other winged hussars, I'm moving them in as well. Along as uh, with the uh, the grenadiers here, along with the grenadiers. What I was trying to say. So yeah, I got a grenadier. They're down to 22, so they're really not going to make that big of an impact. But if they can put some kind of pressure on the flank, that would be fantastic. And here comes those grenadiers, man. Here they go. I'm going to go for the superior line infantry. Try to catch them by surprise. Remember, this is a good shock cab, so I need to get a good charge in here. Yes, charge. Look at the officer leading the way. Fantastic. Come on. And we're really getting behind the enemy forces here. Come on, charge in. Why did you do that, Wing Tassars? They, they didn't get the charge bonus there. They just kind of snuck up behind this unit, and now they're attacking the back of it, so that's not a great uh, start right there. Unfortunately, my Wing Tassars were defeated there. It's just too much, too much infantry for them. And now uh, I'm down to this one unit of winged hussars as they take on the superior line infantry.
There's the officer with his saber out. He looks fantastic. Look at like the sigil on his chest there. That is awesome. Take him out, Winged Hussars. Come on. But yeah, they're not they're not that great of a melee unit, like prolonged melee. I definitely should have gotten them out of there, but uh, I think I was so focused over on this side. Uh, you can see now Prussia's charging in. He's got the numbers. Let's see if we can get another volley there. We do, but it's not going to be enough. And now the line infantry are engaging with their bayonets. And we do have some bloody bayonets going on here. It is a massacre. Unfortunately, my line infantry do not stand a chance because they're so heavily outnumbered. You can see there's a nice forest battle going on in the tree line here. You can see Prussia getting really aggressive, trying to take out my defensive position here. But my guys should be able to hold on for a decent amount of time. And uh, the rest of my line infantry taking on more of his line infantry. And I think Prussia's going to defeat me here. He should break this line infantry because he has me so heavily outnumbered. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I don't know. It's actually pretty close. My, just, It's just my line infantry is uh, pretty stretched out here. <laughs> so it's a pretty close bayonet battle. All right, so here we go. He defeated my line infantry. You can see some artillery shots coming in this way, trying to focus down his line infantry. I'm now uh, taking my recently victorious line infantry, ready to take on Prussia. And this is where things get really, really awesome in this battle. You'll see why pretty soon here. You can see I'm going to form up. And I'm going to get ready to fire by rank. I don't think the Prussian forces here have a lot of ammo because he's going to use them pretty aggressively. And you can also see I'm still shelling this unit with my artillery. And this battle is so close at this point. We have pretty much even armies, even leftover units. So it's a matter of winning these small engagements if we want to win the overall battle. Uh, but he's going to get ready and uh, load up his guns and fire at my line infantry. There we go. Here comes my line infantry getting ready to fire as well. Oh, getting some good shots there on my guys. Let's see. Can we give them a returning volley here? Come on, quickly. Oh. Oh, you can see he's kind of spreading out because of the artillery fire. This is like the most intense 1v1 I've ever seen in a Total War. And that's probably not true, but it is very intense uh, between these two units here, these two regiments. Oh, that artillery should have killed someone. Come on, that landed right next to this guy. You should be dead. You're lucky, my friend. You're lucky. It was a dud or something. <laughs> Those are howitzers. They're pretty explosive. So another good volley there. There we go. This is where he charges in. He decides to go into melee because he realizes that he needs to support his other main front. This is where things get awesome. Let's see. One volley. All right, get ready. Line number two, rank two, fire, quick. Rank two, that is so cool. And here comes rank three. One more volley. And then I tell them to charge them back. Oh my god, you cannot time that any more perfectly. <laughs> they cannot get any more perfect was what I was trying to say. Uh, yeah, that was, that was awesome. That was my favorite part of the battle right there. Just how I timed those ranks. And I was able to charge back with my bayonets at the very last second. And it's still a very close fight. So it's, uh, it's undecided who's going to win that one. But I definitely gave myself a fighting chance. You can see I'm now down to this one line infantry unit. Taking on three line infantry units. I still have some winged hussars. I was trying to tell him to get out of there because the general is chasing you down. So this is the last stand of the winged hussars. And this is, uh, well, this is where they break. <laughs> this is where they break. They don't stand a chance. All right, so I know we haven't been focusing too much on the uh, US Austrian battle but you can see here that Austria has taken the hill I was actually quite surprised by this I I thought my ally was just destroying Austria but uh, no Austria turning this one around but he needs to uh, quickly reform here he still has Lee's Legion who's going to do a lot of damage here you can see them reloading they are already got a pretty good volley there let's see we're gonna get another good shot here oh he's putting down stakes it's actually a pretty good idea Seems like the U.S. is mostly down to cavalry. And he has his household cavalry over here. Taking out the artillery. That's pretty huge right there. Taking out that artillery. Artillery can be extremely important in late game. So he's got his line infantry and his, uh, his Jaegers firing down at the Lee, Lee, uh, Lee's Legion. I'm trying to find where the rest of the U.S. forces are. Oh, it looks like he's standing his ground near his howitzers here. He still has some uh, 
uh, United a Legion of the United States. Austria is still holding here, though. I, I, I don't know. I mean, the U.S., they've got the first of Maryland, but it just seems like Austria is going to take this one. Uh, let's head back over to uh, my fight over here, where you can see there's some bayonets charging in. Prussia being aggressive once again. This is it. This is the uh, what's left of the line infantry for both me and Prussia. Oh, and the artillery. I'm... I'm risking my own men's life, but it's a risk I must take, so I'm, uh, you know, firing my artillery into this position. Come on, for Poland, Lithuania. We can do it, boys. Hold back the Prussians. You can see now he's charging in his general, which is excellent. So I'm going to focus down my artillery. I don't care if I risk killing my own men. This is a great chance. And look at that. He's already losing bodyguard there. He's lost a lot of, a lot of bodyguard in that one shot there, that one volley from the artillery. Hold, hold, brave soldiers. There goes another volley, taking out more of his bodyguard. The player, he realizes that he, he's losing his general's bodyguard. So he's going to he's gonna fall back. I, oh, that was delayed. <laughs> that was super delayed. So there he goes. He's falling back. Good old, uh, good old empire. The glitchy, glitchy empire. Uh, my troops are winning this bayonet fight, but they are only just winning. You can see they're starting to waver here, which is not good. It was just all that artillery fire. Uh, even though it was friendly, it was causing a lot of morale issues. And you can see Prussia still has the uh, superior line infantry that they're just crushing my line infantry. Let's head back over to the United States where you have they've got them surrounded. You can see he's using his household cavalry. He's breaking the line infantry of Austria. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. The United States, it seems like they had way less troops, but they're able to turn it around with a very fast-moving cavalry. And now he's charging in his Lee's Legion to surround this square formation and break their spirits and break them off the battlefield. And that's going to be what's left of Austria. And my fight over here, I mean, this is insanely close. I'm now charging in my general because I'm going after the enemy artillery. I noticed that he's moving them a little bit closer. So the general, is, he's going to risk his own life and take out this uh, artillery crew. Yeah, I think the artillery was out of range. And uh, now we've got the, uh, the Prussian general charging in. So this is it, the moment of truth. I'm going to charge in my general's bodyguard to take on his general's bodyguard. The balance of power, actually you can't see the balance of power, but it's really close. <laughs> it is really close. Now let's see what's what's left of Prussia. Prussia's, I, I think he's got his general's bodyguard and he has his superior line infantry, which is a unit of 128. So this is a really good elite line infantry, and this is going to be a tough fight because we don't really have a solid line infantry re uh, regiment left. Really, it's down to my ally. He has most of the, of the line infantry. And he's got a unit of 43, which is really not that strong. And he has the Legion of the United States, which is down to 51. So less than half. Pretty crazy. Now he's charging in his uh, Lee's Legion right here to try to take out the superior line infantry. I'm still focusing my artillery at this position. Gotta try to take out this, uh, this line infantry unit. He's actually falling back here. I'm going to go ahead and do a uh, suicide charge here. I mean, this is pretty much what's left of my army. General's bodyguard going in. I was just like, whatever. Let's just, hopefully we can break him here. If not, that's okay. My general will just die, and that will be the end of it. I still have my artillery, though, which uh, is going to support the United States as they take on what's left of Prussia. Oh, yep, and there goes my general. <laughs> he was a brave man. A foolish man, but a brave man that we must respect. Oh, and there comes the artillery. Yep, I killed my own bodyguard there, but that's okay. Whatever, they failed their general. They deserve to die. And now he's charging in his general's bodyguard. We're going to continue to shell the enemy. He's in, a, he's in a really close, tight formation here, so we could easily, you know, fire down the artillery and get some good kills. Lee's Legion falling back. And you can see the rest of the United States Army, which is really small. I mean, it's got it's like a couple of units. Austria actually returning here with some uh, line infantry. I don't know if he realizes that, but they are looking the wrong way. So maybe he just doesn't realize. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fast forward because this is where Prussia kind of takes his time. He's trying to regroup his army, his general, his uh, superior line infantry. I'm constantly trying to focus down the general with my artillery, trying to get a lucky shot. Because you'll be amazed how much extra morale the general will give one unit like this. But do they have enough? A unit? 
unit of 117 taking on a bunch of small depleted units. Who will win this one? Should be interesting. Should be extremely close. Alright, here they go. They're moving forward. Alright, we're going to press play here because this is where the battle starts to begin. You can see the artillery s still trying to focus down the general. I told one of my artillery pieces to kill the general and then the other artillery piece to focus that. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. We sniped him out. He's gone. He is gone. And with that, that should be our victory. But we'll see. You never underestimate the superior line infantry. So there they go. They're charging up the hill. We got the U.S. Marines or the, uh, the Legion of the United States. Uh, they're actually falling back. But quick, reload, quick. Let's turn our backs on the enemy. Now he's charging in what's left of Lee's Legion. And unfortunately, my friendly, my friendly artillery crashes in and hits some of his cav units there. And that causes them to uh, break there. Do you see that wiggle too with the Lee's Legion that one of the cav units <laughs> or cav, uh, one of cavalry, you know, the cav soldier, whatever. Here comes uh, the household cavalry coming in. Trying to take out uh, the square formation. And just like that, he defeated one of the United States units. Now he's gonna, he's probably gonna take out uh, this household cavalry because he's in square formation. But I think he's just buying time for the rest of his uh, infantry to form up here. Yet yeah, they're still looking uh, the wrong way. So this is very, very close in a fight. But I'm feeling pretty confident because we have we have the artillery. Oh no! More friendly artillery coming in. I was like, dude, I'm so sorry. I'm just I'm ashamed. I'll be sure to discipline my artillery after that. But they're in square formation, so I had to take the opportunity to try to snipe him out with my artillery. So now he lost another unit, and I would say mostly because of my own artillery. But uh, thankfully, the superior line infantry, they are starting to waver, and eventually they do completely... Um, actually, you know what? They're, they're standing their ground. But yeah, they completely break. And that's going to wrap up today's battle. So very, very close fight. Everyone did well here. I mean, look at the kills here. Very, very good job from all players. So thank you everyone who joined this battle. It was a lot of fun. You can see the U.S. here, Super Turtle, getting the most kills, 1,600. I was uh, close behind, second place with 1,500. And then we have Prussia and Tumbleweed over here. So fantastic. That was a great battle. Let's look at the, uh, the results here. So who got the most kills? My line infantry. One of my line infantry is getting 248 kills. And then my guards... They should be up there with 150. Uh, my other guard unit only getting 90. Let's see, the winged hussars. I didn't really use them effectively, unfortunately. Um, they got 51 kills and the other one got 32. So, yeah, I didn't really do justice with those winged hussars, but that's okay. You know, I'm not great with cav in these type of time periods. Much better with the line infantry and, and light infantry. Uh, but yeah, that's going to wrap up today's battle. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was very close, very enjoyable. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, a comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet, which I would greatly appreciate. So thank you guys so much for checking out today's video. I will see you next time. Namaste.